orders Israfil, come up again, Israfil. So the blower of the trumpet is resurrected. He comes up and then he tells him, blow again. And he blows again. They're standing up and looking. And they get resurrected. And the land is a different land. The ground is white. The land is barren. It is flat. The day where we remove the mountains and we resurrect them, they come back up. And how are they resurrected? The Prophet ﷺ says, Hufatan, Ghuratan, Ghurula, barefooted, naked, uncircumcised. Kama khalaqnakum awwala marra. Like the day you were first made in the first time. So they come out of their graves in darkness. And some people, light surrounds them. Nuruhum yasa'a bayna aydihim wa bi aymanihim. Towards their right and in front of them is lit bright. And some people are resurrected and they can't get up. Bellies have gone huge. They try to get up, it brings them back. They move right, they roll left. Those that eat the money of river, they won't be able to stand, except like the one that has been touched by the devil. They will grow like that. You will see another person and kids are poking him and pushing him. And he ate their money, their wealth, they were orphans. And he wronged them. And this is their situation in the day of judgment. And the sun start, comes down. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, in the day of judgment, the sun comes a mile away from the heads of humankind. And humankind are in that heat and they start to sweat. So some stand in puddles of sweat up to their ankles, some to their knees, some to their waist, some to their shoulders. Some people are drowned in it based on the wrong that you have done. And how long will the day last? 50,000 years. They say, oh people, you see our situation, you know our calamity, you know what has befallen us. Let's go find someone to intercede on our behalf. To do Arsh al-Majid and fa'alu lima yureed. So they say, let's go to our father Adam. So they go to Adam alayhi salam. And they say, ya Adam, you are the father of humankind. You are the one that Allah made with his own hand. Make shafa'a, intercede. Ask Allah Rabbul Izza to ease in this burden, to let qiyamah, let hisab start. We can't bear this anymore. So he says, I disobeyed Allah in eating from the tree. And the hadith is sahih. Go to Nuh. So they go to Nuh. You were the first of the Rusul. You were the one that Allah said you were. You were in da'wah for 950 years. Intercede. You know our situation. Intercede. Intercede. Ask Allah Rabbul Izza to start the day of judgment. He says, I made a dua against my people and Allah Rabbul Izzah might take me on that if I raise my voice, if I ask. So go to Ibrahim, he's the Khalil of Allah. So they come to Ibrahim, you are the Khalil of Allah. So Ibrahim alayhi salam says, go to Musa. So they go to Musa alayhi salam. So Musa alayhi salam sends him to Isa. And in the hadith, there's no record for what Isa alayhi salam has done. So Isa alayhi salam says, go to Muhammad. They say, oh, Ya Muhammad, Allah Rabbul Izzah has forgiven you. Your first and your last, everything is forgiven. Your slate is clean, Allah has guaranteed. And you are the seal of the prophets and the beloved of Allah Rabbul Izzah intercede. So he says, Ana lahu, ana lahu. I am for this, I am for this. So he says, I make sajda under the throne of the Dhul Arsh al-Majid. And he says, Allah Rabbul Izzah puts in me, in my heart, praises that aren't known to me. And I will utter them and it will please my Lord and listen to the honor. And Allah Rabbul Izza says, Irfa' ra'asak, Allah. Irfa' ra'asak, lift your head, O Muhammad. Rise out of sajda. Sal tu'ata, ask it will be granted. Ishfa' to shafa, intercede, it will be accepted. And he says, Allahumma ummati, ummati. Oh Allah, my ummah, my ummah. Ya Rabb, start the reckoning. So Allah Rabbul Izza says, I will come and start the reckoning. The day where the angels start to pour down. So angels come down from the heavens, row after row, formation after formation, group after group, on the Ardul Mahshar, on this plain land. And then the Hamalatul Arsh come, such grand creation. And mankind move towards the land or the place where they will stand before Allah Rabbul Izzah and will be made accountable for their deeds. And their books start to appear and their books are given to them and they will be lined up one line. There isn't a word being uttered, straight line. And Jahannam has been brought, being pulled with 70,000 bridles, 70,000 chains trying to control it and each chain being handled by 70,000 angels. And when Jahannam sees creations, it hisses towards them. 
angry because the Lord of Jahannam is angry. And then in this situation, Allah Rabbul Izzah beckons Adam. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, separate the portion of hell from your children. So he says, وَمَا بَعْثُ النَّارِ يَا رب. And what is the portion of hell? So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, from every thousand, nine hundred and ninety-nine for the fire. And as the utterance comes, the hair on the head of babies will grow great. Qala subhana, and how will you fare the day that you have belied the day the hair on the head of babies will grow great? And may Allah Rabbul Izzah guide you and guard you and bless you and protect you.